So yeah, thanks a lot for uh, joining me here. Um, so yeah, I, I know you m might feel pretty exhausted from the the conference, uh, but yeah, I'm trying to I'm going to try to to uh, get your attention for 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Matteo. Uh, I'm the so I'm French. Sorry for my accent first, but uh, yeah, I guess that if you're here, you learn how to, to decode uh, French-English. Um, so yeah, I'm the CEO of Empiric, uh, Empiric Networks. So we're uh, basically the first Oracle on StarkNet. Uh, we are uh, deployed on StarkNet for uh, more than 10 months now, uh, powering the, the, the best DeFi applications on StarkNet. Um, and today uh, I'm here to, to talk to you about uh, leveraging StarkNet to, to build better Oracles. Uh, and so leveraging uh, valid validity rollups to, to build uh, better oracles. Um, so let's first take a look at uh, how oracles are currently being built. Um, and yeah, most of the oracles are uh, an off-chain network. Uh, so you have um, an off-chain peer-to-peer network um, that computes and aggregates uh, data from different data providers. And so this sits completely off chain. And what you get if you want to, to get data on chain is uh, just a, a final uh, piece of data. Um, so for instance, you'll get a final price of ETH, uh, final price of BTC. Um, and the, the main problem here uh, with this design is that uh, you have no way to verify where the data came from. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's the, the main problem. Uh, the off-chain Oracle network acts a little like uh, a black box where you get just the final price. Uh, you're not able to verify how it was computed uh, and that's the, the only information you get. So um, that's the big problem we see with Oracles. Um, and so uh, we have now uh, the, the tools to build better Oracles. Uh, we're yeah, in... 2023 uh, validity rollups are coming, um, and so we're going to have new tools uh, for to to uh, build on top of uh, validity proofs uh, and zero knowledge proofs, um, and we are going to have a lot more computation that we had before, uh, and so we, we can take uh, those um, those components and build better oracles. Uh, that uh, gives us uh, better transparency. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, what we we aim to do. Um, so in in uh, an ideal oracle, um, we should be able to uh, verify data where the data comes from, how it was computed uh, to get the the final result. Um, we also want to be able to compose data, uh, and so mix the, the different data sources to uh, get different uh, data feeds uh, and also have uh, high frequency updates uh, depending on the, the, the use case you have. Um, and so we asked uh, ourselves what's the, the best technology to get transparency and data composability. Let, let's forget uh, uh, first about uh, high frequency, uh, but the answer here is uh, blockchains. Uh, because you get transparency, verifiability, uh, and you get composability as well. Um, so what we did is um, basically build, uh, we built an oracle that sits fully on chain. Uh, so you get uh, different uh, data, uh, so you have different data sources uh, that are uh, directly sent on chain, signed by uh, data providers. Um, and this data is then aggregated uh, on StarkNet, and so aggregated on chain. Um, and so this is game changing because you can now verify uh, where the data comes from and how the computation uh, has been made to uh, get the, the, the final piece of, of data. Um, what we got as well um, by doing this design is uh, programmability. And so now uh, you're able uh, with Cairo um, to take data feeds uh, and perform any computation, any logic uh, you want. Um, so um, 
we built uh, some computational feeds uh, just to yeah, uh, see what, what we could build with this. So if you combine uh, spot prices uh, with uh, futures prices, uh, you can get a, a yield curve. And so uh, we've built uh, uh, the, the first crypto native yield curve, uh, which is live on Starknet testnet uh, for uh, two months now. Um, there's also um, realized volatility, so if you combine spread with uh, historical data, uh, you, you, you get uh, realized volatility. Uh, but you can, of course, get a lot more. This is just a, a, a basis. So DeFi today is pretty, pretty naive, uh, and like TradeFi is running on some more complex data, and that's just uh, a first step here to, to um, to get more composable and more more data, so that uh, we can uh, onboard more people. Um, so th this is great. Um, this is what we've been running for ten months on Starknet, uh, but there's some limits, uh, especially around uh, scalability and update frequency. So we are pretty uh, dependent on um, Starknet itself uh, and the, the the TPS of Starknet. Uh, also. Uh, if we want to uh, just push data on other ZK rollups, uh, we we have to just deploy the same thing on every rollup. So that's another limit. And finally, um, like we don't not really need we do not really need to push every data on on on, on uh, Ethereum at the end. Uh, so there's challenges and challenges around uh, data availability and privacy. Um, so yeah, we want to introduce you um, Empiric, uh, the, the second version of Empiric that is going to be uh, uh, basically a, a layer three on top of Starknet so that uh, you still have transparency, uh, you still have uh, data programmability, composability, um, but on top of that, uh, we're able to control the frequency of the network and uh, to which frequency uh, the, the, the data feeds are updated. Um, and so how we go multi-chain with the system is uh, basically messaging the data we have on the layer three to any other chain, uh, thanks to, to storage proofs. So there was a uh, Herodotus before uh, who was uh, presenting to you uh, storage proofs, but that's, yeah, uh, trustless way to message the, the data, data feeds to, to other networks. Um, yeah, I, let's just uh, talk a little bit about how uh, this layer three is going to, to be built. So it's gonna be on top of Substrate, uh, which is the, the, um, the blockchain SDK from uh, Polkadot. So it's a Rust uh, blockchain uh, SDK. Uh, and we're basically going to uh, Add the 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 Cairo VM inside Substrate so that we can uh, we can use Cairo to deploy smart contracts uh, and verify it on top of Starknet. Um, now there's also a lot of uh, optimization we can do uh, so that uh, the the blockchain we're running is really opti optimized for uh, the the Oracle needs uh, and the the messaging needs. Um, so yeah. I, I'm pretty, yeah, I don't know if I have a lot of time to talk about it, but uh, just a few words about uh, the, the consensus. Uh, we're uh, exploring uh, deck-based consensus. So basically in the consensus, you have uh, two parts, which are uh, data dissemination uh, and transaction ordering. Um, and so deck-based consensus are just uh, splitting those two things uh, so that uh, you, you have higher uh, throughput. Um, about the, the storage, so the goal of the storage is to uh, be able to generate uh, really short storage proofs so that it's really easy to, um, to verify those storage proofs on all the networks. Um, and finally about uh, yeah, messaging, uh, we are pretty big fans uh, about what uh, Herodotus is doing on Starknet uh, and storage proofs. Um, and so the, the goal is to generate the, the lighter uh, storage proofs possible uh, to to after afterwards send this uh, on other ZK rollups. So yeah, 
that's a pretty short time to, to present all of this, but uh, I even to invite you to get in touch with, uh, with the team if you want to, to learn more about it. Uh, we are developing everything uh, open source. Um, so yeah, if you want to, to contribute, uh, take a look at it, uh, come, uh, come talk with us. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, feel free to, to uh, go on our website, uh, check our docs if you want to integrate uh, with Empiric on, uh, on the testnet and on the mainnet. And uh, we'd be uh, really happy to chat with you uh, about uh, potential integrations. Thanks.